exterior leverage, directed by Damian Lockhart. Setting, Chirac. Hey man, let me hold something. 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 Wanda, a mother 
her late 40s sits on her cognac leather couch. In her hand is a glass of crown and color. There's a happiness boiling inside of her as she looks at the phone sitting on the coffee table before her. A number enters. He seems stressed, but something changes when he sees Wanda smile. Hey, baby. I haven't seen Alec in a while. I got a call today from Kim. What did she say? Is she okay? No, oh, she's fine. Everything's fine. There's an appeal for the gun charges. What else did she say? Mom. How about we grab some dinner, huh? We can go to Gino's. She's still blaming me, right? And then maybe we can catch a movie? No! Boy, take that face out your voice. I don't give a damn what kind of man you think you are out on these streets. I run this here. Why do I have to keep doing this? I ain't made for these streets, Mom. This triggers something, Wanda. Don't you ever say that again. Listen to me. When I met your father, I was 17. 17! And he was still out on the corner pushing the streets. He used to tell me, I'm going to run this here one day. Just you watch. And I did. I saw this scrawny kid from Aurora grow up to become a legend. He went down to protect this family. Your uncles probably would have folded. But he did. He has it. You're not him, but you are your father's son. His blood pumps through your veins. You remember that. But she wanted this. Don't you get it? I ain't never wanted to be like that. Ain't like you ever did anything for me. Have you lost your mind? Look around you. This house, those clothes, those shoes. You get to live like a prince because of your father. This is you. All of this is for you. This don't mean nothing to me. You are such a disappointment. But now you know how I feel. With silent anger, they stare at one another. He knows what he said and the impact it has caused. He steps towards her with arms outstretched. She takes a step back and exits her bedroom. Wounded, he exits. He goes back from which he came, the corner. A number is back on the corner. It's starting to feel like home. It's dark and cold, yet the sounds of the city are heard. Overseer enters with his right-hand man shooter. So, how's my business out there? It's good? He reaches into the pocket and pulls out a wad of cash. This all for me? You fast, boy. You doing good work out there. We might have to train you up. Roll with the big boys. Yeah, you know, I remember your father being a legend in these streets. Shit still is, in my opinion. Hey, we short about 3,000. Oh, no, we can't have that. And you sold it all? Yeah, everything you gave me, I swear. You know me better than that. I thought I did. I would hate for Aunt Wanda to have to pull that black dress out of here. You got to 11 o'clock to find my money. And if you don't, they just asked. Please. Wanda on the phone paces in front of the couch. She is very focused and intense. Frantically, a number runs into his home. He begins rummaging through books, bases, canisters, everything. Mm -hmm. I know it's enough for us. Good. Mr. Daniels, thank you so much. Something just came up. Can I call you back? Okay. Thank you. She hangs up the phone. Where is it? Where is what? The money, Ma. Don't play with me. I'm just your total. The only money I have is the money you left for your sister. How much did you take? Seven. You were only supposed to take four. You stupid bitch! The money wasn't mine. It was my boss's. I need 3,000 by 11 or... Don't say it. Just stay here, okay? I can't. They know we stay, Ma. I just... What are you gonna do? I'm gonna take care of it. She exits into her bedroom. The number is left patient. She returns the lockbox and key. She opens the box and reveals a black gun. You're gonna need it. He pulls the gun out the box. I'm sorry. There's fear in her eyes. She knows it and he sees it. He exits and she watches after him. A number is back on the corner. It's still cold and dark, yet the sounds have grown quiet. He paces as he holds his gun to his side, clenching it for dear life. He listens for young guys, but she is traded, Chirac, for sweet dreams. Overseer enters. 
So I'm guessing you don't have my money. Boy, did you really think you were going to get me before I got you? I, I can't just let you kill me. We're family, right? How are you just going to get rid of family? Easy. They hold each other's gaze. Shooter enters in the distance. A shot rings out. Pa! This marks the end of the cycle for another. A new number stands on the corner. Young guy sees him. She's intrigued. You're here a lot, aren't you? You look familiar. Like the kid that used to live in my building. <laughs>